how to add a size chart onto Shopify. Now, in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you everything needed to successfully add all sorts of different size charts onto your products. So, to get started, just head over to the Shopify dashboard and then, this is really important, we actually do want to head over to online store and then do pages right here. Because we actually do want to create separate pages for all of the different size charts, I will explain why we do this later on. But for now, just click on add page right here on the top right and give this page a title. In this case, I'm just going to name this size chart t-shirt. Then we basically have two different options when it comes to adding the size chart. First off, we do have the option to simply just insert a table onto this. We can then right here insert different kind of rows. We can also then insert columns. So I guess the first column would then be just size. Then we can actually put in small, medium and so on. And then we would just have to go ahead and actually put in waste. Then we are going to put in, I don't know, I'm going to put in random numbers right now. Then we can actually also drag this around right here. We can add new rows onto this, um, or we can actually also add new columns and so on. However, uh, although this actually does look pretty good in full width pages, as we are actually going to integrate this page right here onto our product page, we aren't actually going to use this table function right here, as in my opinion, this isn't really going to look nicely and this isn't going to be well optimized. We are rather going to actually add an image onto this. Now, basically, I would highly recommend you to add, just simply just create a size chart image. Now, you can actually use tools like Canva to easily create different kind of size charts depending on your interests. This tool is completely free to use. I assume most of you already know this. Uh, however, some templates obviously are paid, but the free ones are going to work just as fine. So in this case, I could then just use this template right here. By the way, you can right now get completely free access to my comprehensive Shopify beginner course by using the link down below. This will also grant you access to a community with hundreds of like-minded people so that you can grow together. So make sure to check that out if you want to. I could then actually edit this. Let me then just put in, I don't know, size chart. Um, and then I'm going to put in t-shirt right here. Then we can drag this around. We can make this right here bigger. We can also make this a little bit more longer right here. And then we can basically go ahead and further customize this by putting this right here. We can then actually also put in, I don't know, you can then use this for all sorts of different things. Maybe you want to put in t-shirt like this and then we can actually put uh, delete this. Da, da, da. I think you're going to get the hang of this. Maybe something like this. I'm just going to, uh, I'm basically coming up with this on the go right now, but you can further customize this depending on your own interest. Now, I actually also prepared something um, because I don't, I don't want to waste your time essentially. So I'm just going to simply insert my size chart image right here which is going to look something like this. Right here, we can then put in the image alt text, which is then going to be shown right under your images. And we can also set the size. Now, usually I would then uh, actually select the banner image right here. Then I'm going to click on insert image. And now we do have our size image, uh, size chart actually created. However, before we can continue, I would recommend you to, first of all, add a space right here on the top, as well as um, basically under this. This is just for basically simplicity stakes and just for organization sakes, one that later on. For now, just save this. And now we will basically have to create some custom meta fields to actually display this page onto our store. Now, no worries if you haven't actually created any meta fields in the past. Uh, if you're going to actually follow the following steps, it is going to be super easy. So first off, just head over to settings and then just click on customer data right here and then select products. Right here, you will then just have to add a new field onto this. In this case, I'm just going to click on add definition and now we will have to name this. Uh, obviously, I'm just going to name this size chart right here. Then we can set the namespace. We can also set a description. However, you basically won't need to do this. Then we will have to select a type. Now, in this case, I'm just going to look for page as we obviously want to integrate the page onto our product, okay? So I would then just select page right here and we can then right now save this and that's basically everything that you will need to do right now. So now actually head out of, basically opt out of this and head over to your online store. 
click on customize and now we basically do want to make the size chart visible onto our products. So to do so just use this navigator tool right here then click on default product and now you can go ahead and actually add this onto your product. So in this case, I would then just add a new block right here and I'm then going to actually add a collapsible row content right here. You can also add a pop-up, but more on that later on. And in this collapsible row content right here, I'm then just going to rename this to size chart. I, I would then probably change the icon to something like a ruler right here. Uh, and we can then go ahead and actually select the row content from page. Now, actually, you do want to simply just right here, click on connect dynamic source. And you do want to then right here, uh, select this size chart. We can then also change the link label. In this case, I'm just going to rename this to size chart. And I'm once again, then going to drag this right here next to this other size chart. And once again, this pop-up right here now is going to be completely blank. So let me now actually show you how to add our page onto these size charts. So to do so, just click on save right here on the top right, and then actually opt out of this. Then head over to products and find the product that you want to actually add a size chart to. In this case, this would be the relaxed fit t-shirt right here. And we will then right here under meter fields have to add the size chart. In this case, we will simply just have to add the size chart t-shirt page right here. I'm then going to save this. And when we are now going to actually visit our online store, we can see that actually if we're going to click on the t-shirt, this is going to be available right here. And we also do have a pop-up right here, which is then going to display the size chart t-shirt. Obviously, you can also further customize this pop-up and so on, but I don't want to bore, bore you guys with this. However, if we're now going to click on the other products on our store, like for example, this hoodie right here, you can see that although the size chart is visible, there is basically no option to actually see the size chart of this hoodie. And to change that, we would then have to once again, simply just head over to online store, then to pages, then add a new page. Then we are going to name this hoodie size chart. And then once again, I'm simply just going to add my hoodie size chart onto this. Then I'm going to actually save this. And when we are now going to head back to our products, it is basically the same procedure all over again. You will simply just have to select the size chart page right here. In this case, this would be the hoodie. I'm going to save this. And if we're now going to simply just view this, this hoodie is also going to have the size chart right here. However, most probably you won't actually need to add a separate size chart for all your products. In this case, uh, for example, if you do have multiple t-shirts, you would then just have to go ahead and actually head over to the other t-shirt right here. And then you can just select the other size chart page right here. In this case, as this is also a t-shirt, we can then just add the other size chart t-shirt page, which we've created earlier and then this is basically automatically going to be set up. Now, one other thing which I want to mention is that most likely you are going to have multiple products on your store and some of these products probably aren't going to need a, 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 an actual size chart. Like for example, this gift card right here, uh, as you can see, I don't really need this size chart thing right here. And to actually change this, we do want to head over to our online store and we do want to click on customize right here. So let me now show you how to actually only show your size chart on certain pages. So right now, simply just uh, select products and then click on default product right here. And as you can see, this is going to be our default product settings, which we've already basically set up earlier. However, right now we actually do want to create a new template, which is then go only going to contain all of the different products that actually do have a size chart. So to do this, we will simply just have to click on products right here. As you can see, I've already tested this. And then right here, you will have to create a new template. In this case, I'm just going to name this real clothing. And then this is really important. We actually do want to base this off the default product so that we do have all of the different elements added onto this. So now we do have this real clothing tab right here. And then right here, this is really important. We actually do want to opt out of this right now. And we do want to head over to our products. And now we will have to go over, we basically will have to go to all of the different products. And then right here on the theme template, we do want to actually select real clothing. And we basically do want to continue this process with all of our different products. So this um, milk t-shirt or I don't know what this t-shirt what is basically. We also want to update this right here. Same goes for this relaxed hoodie. Uh, and then we are basically set. So I'm just going to save this. Perfect. 
And if we're now going to click on online store right here, um, basically still our, our size chart is going to show up for all of the different products. So as you can see right here, um, this size chart is still visible for the gift card product right here. However, right now we can simply just edit this default product thing right here. And right here we can then simply just remove this collapsible row thing. So if we're now going to save this, um, and if we're now going to actually preview this, we can see that for products like the gift card right here, we don't have this size chart. However, for stuff like this t-shirt, for example, we do have the size chart right here, as well as the pop-up for our size chart. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and check out my free resources down below to supercharge your Shopify journey.